welcome to Kenya. Auntie Sherry, say hello. Hello. Junior? Hello. Ma mommy is saying hello. The lighting's not that good. Hold <laughs> up. Hey. And Shawnee is, she's working, I think, or whatever. But welcome back to the vlog. I'm Alexia Nicole, I'm Living My Life by Design. Um, it's a travel vlog. We are in Kenya. Um, I'll give y'all a little backstory of how I got here earlier. Um, but yeah, come along, let's have some fun. All right. It is. All the way to Africa, I ain't got burger. You know, Auntie, better than that, mommy. <laughs> what you ordered? It's sorry, Golda. It is 1:24 a.m. We are eating our first meal here in Kenya. We got a burger. We got these patties. Mutton patties. Our mutton empanadas. Another burger. They're saving the best for last. Say hello to Shawnee. Y'all didn't see her earlier. Hello. You use your Reese's. Yeah, I got the same thing. Oh, okay. It's morning buffet breakfast in a hotel here in Kenya. They have some just traditional like eggs and bacon and then they also have like some swahili food. I don't know what that is but I'm going to try it. And get some juice, cocktail juice and I don't know but let's try it. I want to introduce Ken. Yes, I can. Hi Ken. Hello. So Ken is our driver guide. Howdy. Right. And uh, uh, we, call, we call them Safari and driver guide here. Yeah. Okay. So he'll be taking us through the Nairobi National Park. Oh. Okay. Um, the animals that will meet there, <laughs> and uh, the species that we have at Nairobi National Park. So I believe every question that you have, feel easy, feel free to ask Ken. Not you. I'll, I'll be there to answer. <laughs> I will assist. Yeah, so let's have a, a cheerful day and a wonderful adventure in Kenya. Yay! Hey, ready? Yeah, we are. Nairobi <laughs> National Park. <laughs> we are here. Lions. Expect rhinos. Expect buffaloes. I will not guarantee you the big fours. Uh, sorry, here you cannot get the big fives. The reason being, uh, elephants are so disastrous, so they cannot be able to step within one uh, one area that is yeah. small like this one. This is only just 1,700. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is the Wadok here. So it's just 1,700 square feet, so they cannot be able to stay we here. We have those in Texas, the terrible places. <laughs> Should, should Why does it have to kneel down as it feeds? <laughs> its legs are too long. <laughs> Digest. That's, that's a good trial. <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> Look at his whiskers. It, it, you yeah. said it's ugly, yeah? Yes. So it's actually one of the ugly five. We have the big five. This is ugly five. There is also an ugly five. Small fives and the special fives. Yeah, why does he have to kneel? <laughs> So what was the answer to the question? So, fine. <laughs> the reason being uh, why um, our dog has to kneel, the front legs, they seem to be a bit tall than the back legs. Oh. So I was right. Yes. His legs too So tall. now it tends now to kneel so that now it can be able to comfortab uh, comfortably feed. And also you see the mouth, the wide uh, space on the mouth, mm -hmm. they'll be able to feed well when it's, uh, when it's standing. So the best thing is to be able to kneel so that I can be able to feed directly. Because oh. it's a it's a grazing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Bachelor group of impalas, people.
So who eats these? Eat the buffalo? No, no. The buffaloes are herbivores. They only eat grass. Oh. But we have crocodiles here. You have crocodiles yeah, in yeah. there? Yeah, we have crocodiles. Oh. 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 Later, they'll come up. Hey, hippie, hippie. They have a bite. Hello. 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 So, do the, so do the hippo? crocodile try to eat the, the, cro the hippo? Are you kidding me? Can you see a crocodile eat my hippo? What do you say? Do they How have... fast do they run? These rhinos. How fast can they run? They can run very fast, but they have very poor eyesight. Do y'all have like little things on all of them to keep track of them? No, they, uh, they just live here. Uh, These are free animals. Natural environment. Oh, okay. If they do put uh, tags on them, it may be just one or two. See. But not the whole bag. Thank you. Um, keep on the track. Because they were the, um, the, the reason why we have the big five, mm. those were the most hunted animals. So this is one of the big five? Yes. Oh, so big five got, in the house. More than one big five. The big five leaves. The the yes. There's two males. There's two females. The black and white ones are the males. And the brown ones. Yeah. The ones. Yeah. Yeah. The males and the brown ones. It's the gray. The so gray of, uh, ones ostriches. are the females. So we have Masai Bush, you see his balls are blue? Yeah, balls are blue. <laughs> oh, oh my god, his butt's red. His no, butt's red. No, saw something that they're red. turquoise. They're not blue. Wait, where? The balls, the balls on the monkey. The There's I one need up to in see. the tree right there. Oh my god. <laughs> they're blonde, they're turquoise. They're you okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, the big five. It's like guinea fowl. Guinea fowl. <laughs> Huh. It's like a teenage 
That's a male. That's, no, no, that's a male. No, it's a teenager. It's a teenager. That's Nama. It's a cub. It's a cub. Oh, yeah, that's a my. But that's a boy. That's not a girl. How do you know that? Because look at the face and look no. at the chin. I guess it's a... Look at the chin. Look at the chin. No, that's a male. It's a... That's a male. Come here, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty. Do you think it's a female? Did y'all see how close that line was? Um. <laughs> she said she's peeing. Okay, here we are. Here's me. There's a lion. We don't know if she's a girl or a boy. Like a boy. I said that no, too, but they girl. said it's a girl. No, it's, it's, a a girl. Girl. it's a girl. It's a girl. Hi, Nyla. Hi, Nyla. Hi, Nyla. Hi, Nyla. Why is she letting us do this? Why is she? Four years. She's what? young. What? But why is she letting us do this? No, elephant um, lambs. I, I know it's lambs, please. They only live for 14 years? Yeah. I so don't it know. Goes to an the other 14 one to 15 years. Since no. Hey, Nyla. 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 Oh, watching. But there's Reese, are you over it? There, here's a hippo right here. And then there's another one over there in between. Those trees. Oh, oh, yes, caribou. Well, yes. Okay, we are now arriving at the giraffe center. So I know you all see the giraffe manor on Instagram where the people are sitting there and the giraffes are in their hotel room for breakfast and they're having tea with the giraffe. And the manor is right next door, but the manor is expensive. You have to have a reservation. It's a hotel. Have to have a reservation, and I think it was like legit a thousand dollars a night. So we're at the draft center, and we'll see those drafts. What do you do? Yeah, just use your index finger. Okay. And they'll take it from you. One shell, Papa. So this is the way in. Okay. Oh, that's the way in. Thank you. Thank you. Draft nibbles. 
the last time I did this, he slobbered all over me. And, and it got the slobber out of my car, and it, like, stained the car. Oh, yeah. 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 She's Daisy. Hi, Daisy. 15 years old. 15 years old. And they're very curious. <laughs> Only in the so way. when they're born, how big or how how much do they know they weigh? What the average? Look weight? at these babies. Almost the same size. Almost the same size yeah. at birth? Yes. This is a good view. Yes, gal. Come here. In an hour? In an hour it will pass now. Okay. Bye. Very pretty. Oh my god, so pretty. Between that and that line today? Yeah. Hey, Daisy. Thank you for the view, Daisy. Yeah. Hi, Daisy. I don't have anything for you right now, Daisy. You've ate enough, honestly, Daisy. I'm not calling you. Now coming back, plenty. Mm -hmm. But the three are the main days. Daisy, Salma, never on a country. Kelly, come here. It is Kelly. <laughs> Kelly is busy over there. That that one is Kelly. That's a male. You wash your hands already, Sean? Yeah. You're one, over it. As you can see from the map, we have the total of around uh, exactly 22. Sorry, 23? Yeah, 23. Ethnic uh, tribes. different tribes okay. in Kenya. So all these tribes that you're seeing here, we have from... Um, let me start here. Yeah, sorry. So here, we have Mijikenda, Taita. These are from the southern coast. Mm -hmm. That is the southern Kenya. And then we have Kuria, Isi, Luya. These ones are from the western side of Kenya. And then you have Samba, Kikuyu, Meru, Embu. These are from the central of Kenya. And then we have Gabra, Somali, Takuye, Lendile. These are from the northern Kenya. We call them the Kushetik uh, uh, tribes. And then you have Samburu, Bora, uh, Samburu is still also northern, but part of the Maasai community. And then you have Borana, Sangwal, Takana, uh, sorry, Borana and Sangwal. They are still also part of the Kushetik. And then uh, Takana, Pokot, James, Masai, Kalenjin, Iteso. They are one ethnic uh, community called the Kalenjins. And then now we have the Luz. These are the only uh, distinct uh, tribe by itself. They are called the River Lake Nilers. Which tribe so are here, you? Which yes, tribe are you? Oh, myself. I'm a Kikuyu. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So here in Kenya, mm -hmm. we have... Uh, and in, here in Kenya, we have uh, Kushite. Kushite is, is a tribe. So it involves now, uh, I would say, the Ash, kind of the Arabs. Mm -hmm. It's part of the Arabs community here, but they speak now the Kushite language. Mm -hmm. And then now we have the Bantus. The Bantus now we have the Kikuyus, the Kambas, who, who lived along Mount okay, Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they lived along Mount Kenya. And then mm -hmm. now we have uh, the Nilots. Mm -hmm. Nilots lived along the lake like. and uh, the ha the plain plain areas so we have plain plain nilots and the li river lake nilots so river lake nilots are only the loons and then our plain nilots are chakana Pokot, james masai and kalenjin so the, the, those who live at the rift valley you've heard about the rift valley wives he has mm -hmm. so you'll find one one man with three wives but they don't stay together Mm -hmm. though they stay in one community mm -hmm. okay. so you'll find the first wife has just been made uh, a building next to the husband mm -hmm. and then now the second wife on this other side on the left mm -hmm. and then now the third wife in front okay. and then now comes in the children mm -hmm. as how they have married and intermarried okay. and in case they want to make a decision they don't go seeking uh, themselves they will come to the elder in that community and seek for the blessings 
or seek for a guidance before they go and execute it. So uh, now as they continue growing, they do walk through a rite of, a rite of passage. Uh, a, that rite where now they identify warriors. So as a warrior for you now, in order to become a warrior, you must be sent to the world to kill yeah. a lion and pluck a teeth. Yeah. This yeah. canine of a lion. So now if you've done that, you've uh, killed a lion, with, you, you only walk with your a shield and a spear. Yeah. So the shield is to protect you because a lion, you know, a lion slaps you. Right. So once a lion slaps you, it's the the slap is heavier, so it brings you down and it's able to. So they time it as it so they throw, and then it jumps, then they take the shield and take the spear in here. So stab it, and then you go pluck the teeth, you go home. You're declared as a warrior, as she was asking. Oh my the red. gosh. <laughs> the, the red, the, the, the red dye on the hair, on the hair. It's like mud, though, isn't it? It's yeah, like mud. Yeah, they took, they take mud and they yeah, take it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's uh, so sad. Wow, wow. No, 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. So the third wife only have two uh, apartments. Yeah. You know, one. The son has been yeah. given birth. He stays with the mother together until he becomes a teen. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What that's what I'm I said how many people so, can live in it. Here. Yeah. You, it's based on how the number of children that you have. Okay. Yes. So if you have a you, you have a, um, a male. So by the time now he's growing up from a boy, mm -hmm. he cannot stay with the mother in the same hut. He will be staying with the father. Well, but, I'm just I don't, I don't think he is. It's okay. Yeah. So, as you can see, the Somali community, the ones I was saying on the Pacific, the, the Northeastern community. Do they make rooms yeah. in here? But the other one had rooms that first yeah, but not was. like this one. This one has like actual like separation and it had benches. What I like about this is that like he can kind of fit they make like a wall like to keep the nobody can fit in that. Mm -hmm. You want to go in? You can go in. You want to go in? I ain't bending all the way down. I'm going to need a taller entrance. <laughs> It would be on these things, but I guess something happened. A little more spacious? Huh? She got a little more square feet? I didn't look at the second one. I'm scared. I'm I can sleep in one of these. I mean, you could, if you had to, you could do a lot of things. <laughs> can I get a picture? Oh, my bad. I'm taking a video. My bad. <laughs> We're doing the Bomas of Kenya, which is basically a, a I don't want to call it a park, but a, I don't know, an exhibition. I don't know. What would you call this? A tour. Uh, okay. Shani says it's a tour. A tour oh of the different tribes and how they lived so we're seeing yeah, here's a grandmother's hut grandmother's hut <laughs> and then the husband and then his wives the third wife the son's hunt first wife 
second wives hut so are they only allowed to have three wives total yeah yeah three wives that's what's the minimum oh that's the minimum three wives is the minimum why is the husband's hut so big yeah, the because this is because the men had to go cut the trees down. It looked like the first wife was bigger than the yeah, the yeah, first wife. That first wife said it. Because uh, she is the uh, most important wife. And whose uh, head is this? Uh, she's uh, she has a lot of children. Right. Like usually, first wives usually have a lot of children. She's responsible for the visitors, mm -hmm. so she needs more space. Sometimes also she accommodates uh, the ship and goes inside. So it's a very busy house. Sometimes also all the Second children from the wives manner. come and congregate inside. Congregate yeah? inside oh. What does that say? Second wives, what? That is storage. So storage. Granary. Granary. Oh, oh, storage. storage. Yeah, granary. Yeah. That's storage, honey. Where? This storage. Each wife has a grain store, so no fighting over food. Mm -hmm. Oh, so tell me this. I wow. thought the first wives' hut would be next to the first. To the that's why she, she's put closer to she's still very active. She's very oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's still very active. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. you don't want to have to go too far. Too far, yes. Okay. Yes. Very close. <laughs> very close. <laughs> okay, day one of the trip is winding down. We had a very eventful um what else would, what other descriptive word would y'all call today? Anybody? Um, magical. Mommy? That's oh, pretty good. I enjoyed it. And too? Any experience? We saw a line up close and personal. <laughs> I don't know how you describe that. Our energy when we saw those lines. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. was like that was something. And that, you know, I like, I feel like I've seen a lion at the zoo before. But it's different. But out in the wild, just living inside. And the fact that they were so unbothered by us. Well, they couldn't see us. They could only see the van. Yeah, that's what Dennis said. Oh, he said that? Yeah. Had we gotten out, they would have seen us. But they, uh, because their eyesight is bad. Yeah, their eyesight is bad. I did not know that. I know. Why not do that? I did not do good things today was it was a good day it was a, a long day for us after the travel the 21 hour travel yesterday but we're here having dinner um, and then we have one more day tomorrow of a half city tour and then we depart to our next destination all right so here's the salmon 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 <laughs> Shantree's got the key My name fish. is Shani. I got, don't you ever say my name like that. I'll pull you. She got the salmon too. Mommy got the salmon. I got kingfish. Auntie got ch stuffed chicken. It's not really stuffed chicken though. Chicken it's, it's on top of, but. Ooh, it looks so good though. It, it does look good. It's very good. Mashed potatoes. Good morning. Day two in Kenya. This is a pineapple mint juice. It's pretty good. Got some breakfast. Some pineapple watermelon. I keep picking up this watermelon knowing good and well it's not like sweet. You can just tell because it's, it's not colorful. Um, I don't know what this is called. Eggs, potatoes, something and something. But I'm gonna try, well I tried this yesterday and I liked it. I'm gonna try these beans. My aunt just said it was good. Um, the name of this hotel is, I'm going to mess up the pronunciation, Ole Sereni Hotel, O-L-E dash Sereni, S-E-R-E-N-I Hotel. Um, it's a nice hotel. It's not like a fancy, well, it is, it is fancy, but it's not like a resort style that you would expect, like, you know, maybe somewhere like in Mexico. It's just not like that. It kind of gives more like business vibe style hotel. But it's really nice because the view from my room, when I go back up there, I'll show y'all. You can see into, we're right across from the, um, the national park that we went to yesterday, the Nairobi National Park. And you can actually like see some of the animals from your room and stuff like that. So that is pretty cool. Um, this hotel I did not choose. This was um, just chosen through one of the tour guides that I decided to work with. He gave us this option in. I think he gave us two options and I just said go for this one. 
So, we're only here for two nights. We actually um, fly out tonight to go to our next destination. So, bye bye to this hotel. <laughs> Mm. All right, I said I wanted to show y'all the view from my room. This morning when I looked out, there were two antelope over here. But yeah, this is the only major city in the world that has a national park within the actual city itself. Nairobi, Kenya. This is the National Nairobi Park. I might not be saying the full name, but I'll put it in the in the uh, description or whatever. But isn't that cool, y'all? Like to literally live in a city with like wildlife. Ugh. Insane. So, yeah, that's it. This was don't. This is the aftermath of living in the room for two full days. Well, sleeping in it at least. But this is the sing uh, the. The twin size, the double beds. Well, they don't call it double. They call it twin, the twin, the twin bedroom. So it's two, two separate beds. They're just pushed up next to each other. Um, it has a refrigerator, safe, that sink, and then the restroom. Sorry, I didn't show it to y'all beforehand, but this is it. All right, it is 9.10. They just came and got our luggage. I'm going to go downstairs and just wait for the rest of my family to be ready. All right, I think the gang is here. There's mommy. There's a stepdaddy. Well, not the guy in the red, that, that one right there. Stepdaddy. There's an auntie. Um, oh, let's see. Golda. And Shani was just down here. And of course, I had to bring my favorites. Y'all know these are like the most comfortable walking shoes, just everyday shoes. These are my Nike Cocos, designed by my girl Serena Williams. They had to come. They're being worn today. And there is Shawnee. You went to get mascara? Welcome to the National Museum of Nairobi. Let's go. <laughs> Lord, I hope these aren't taxidermied. They look it though, don't they? Are these taxidermied? Yeah. They're too big to be taxidermied. So, Look at this elephant. One of the most famous elephants in Kenya. His name was Ame. Yeah. Oh. Yes, that's his skeleton. That's his skeleton? We shall have a look at how Ame looks like. And uh, for almost 20, 30 years, that country has not known peace. It's yeah. always rebels in and out. And obviously, these guys are fighting in the forest. <clears throat> when they are hungry, they're like, we need to eat something. So what? what is he, what is, what's his, he's a what type of antelope? Uh, he's almost, if you can, he's classified almost like an eland. Eland. Yeah, when you look at their sizes. But here in the uh, African tradition, folk tale, they say, he was a very proud antelope. When animals, in the animal kingdom, when animal kingdoms could talk, uh -huh. But when the king, the lion, could call for meetings, uh -huh. this antelope will walk in very late, always late. Always so late. So the king will be like, anger, like, you are coming. Why are you always late? It's a relative of the giraffe. Really? I like the strikies. They're taxidermied. I think I gotta go all the way back to get this giraffe neck. <laughs> Let me zoom out. Lord, giraffes are so tall. 
community that live near the national parks. Some kids will be going home or to school and sit here like, yeah, I can't do anything. The other thing is hungry. So chase the kid and pick up the kid. We have had a lot of cases of hyena killing human beings around. Oh, you know, you've been brought up, you're told, it's a scavenger. You're like, ah, it doesn't hurt. Yet it's one of the best hyenas. So they move in parks. Yes. Hyena. So in this museum, we have two animals that are on this place. Here. Leopard. But they are not found in the king of the jungle. We saw his wife yesterday, Nala. I think I got a clip of a lion wagging its tail in the grass. He wouldn't get up. We are now assuming that was a male because we saw the female get up and she was beginning to hunt. Lions sleep about 16 hours of the day, they say. So we're assuming Mr. Lazy was laying down hiding from us. The most prayerful animal in Kenya because when they're feeding, they're on their knees. They're trying to use glass male. So they're trying to reproduce the eggs in the female, that is the last male that is around them, to see if they can do the generation of this. Yeah, we still have female restaurants in all the Jenga conservancy. And uh, one of them is his daughter. That's the baby? Yes. The last male white northern uh, in wheat? Right now. This is where Nairobi gained its. I don't know. But we're about to go find out. Then the location where that engine used to work or used to do a lot of work. Karamoja is a region in the northern region of Uganda. So this one was mainly used. Wait, are these original railroads? These, these were just made to drive in the engines to the environment. Uh -huh. But you'll see an original line. Oh, okay. So in 1945, they planned the small, as you see in the picture, the town was becoming so big. And there were about 20,000 settlers in this colony. So some were saying they were missing home. Uh, they wanted to feel at home. So what they did, they gave Nairobi a new planning uh, to make it as a city. And the chapter given to Nairobi came from UK. So the Nairobi was equated as London, a city in London. So it was called Nairobi City in 1950. Okay. So in 1945, 1955 years, a lot of planning, new roads, new infrastructure and all that and the main thing that was to leave the city was the original line. The original line used to cut across here, you can see pictures on the other side, in between those two all the way to the western side of the country. 1945 they said it will limit the growth of the city. So the line used to cut across in the middle of the small town around the So they were like in future this line will limit the growth. So they did and it was inside around midnight and he knew that if he came here at midnight with his rifle, he would be successful in killing the lions. Sadly enough, or in bad luck, the man waited at midnight and had given him the lion that time. With his rifle on his arm, the time cropped in, he was like, it seems to make them come. So let me get a nap. Wow. Oh. Then I'll keep watch later on. No sooner did he fall asleep, did the lion crawl in and take him off. And the man died. He was on board this coach. So this coach you're looking at, as it says first, that's how a first class coach looks like. First um, class coach. You remember when I told you about the shakiness of the, of the train, that the train master had to inform your ticket master. So you are all still the train master. Choo choo. One mile, you don't to the company. On this side, on the right, one mile, you don't to the company. The reason being, from Mombasa to Uganda, there's a lot of forest. So instead of using coal, they start using wood. Wood. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ah, I think this. Uh, the other workers, vessels. Okay. The workers are just in bought some coal. <laughs> so this pipe, as huge as it is, it will be able to load the water on the tanks. Then, so if there was a big. All right, y'all, we are at what used to be one of the tallest buildings in Kenya, but this gives a full 360 view of the whole city. It's beautiful.
So we can just say bye bye to Kenya from here. We're about to go eat. This is the end of pretty much the city tour that we did today. So we went to the National Museum. Um, and then we went to the railroad place. And then we came here to this building. And then um, now we're gonna go eat, hopefully food that's better than yesterday. And then we are going to go to the market to shop. Then we have a flight to Tanzania. My hair looks really red in this shot. I like it. Okay, Kenya really is coming to an end. It just went down this little market row and got um, some beads and some earrings. Come back over here, Shani. Um, I don't know what is taking my family so long to get about of here, but we've got to go. So they need to, they need to come come. What are you getting now? Well, this has been eventful. It's time to go. People keep calling me Serena because y'all know that's my twin. I don't know if y'all really know, but I do love Serena quite a bit of a lot. So they were like, Serena, Serena. You run, you run the hundred meter? Is this enough bags for six people? <laughs> I don't think I showed y'all the bag that I bought, but this is it. It's cute. Don't own a red bag. So, yay. Now we're headed to Kilimanjaro. The toilet, y'all. The toilet. Have y'all ever used one of these? Tragic. This <laughs> last free to know. So we've made it to the Grand Malia, Malaya. It's so nice. I'll just let Shani tell you. Hold on. It's, mm -hmm. it's so nice. I'm coming back to Arusha next year just for this hotel. It's their winter, so it's a little chilly, but it's still so worth it at nighttime. Come and look at the bathroom. Look at the shower. It's adorbs. Oh, it is nice. And then we have the toilet. Mm hmm. I mean, this is just totes of dorbs. You can even weigh yourself, which I'm not gonna do because I'm a little big right now. We have our robes. We also have, I just think every hotel should have slippers in a robe. Like, I just, like, why not? Mm -hmm. And here, if you have your tea, your coffee, your things, and just like, look at this. The floors are nice. And Two also, twin beds this, again, but. Balcony light. Everything is touchable, so there's no flickering of a light. All you do is touch it with your finger. Oh. And we can go out on my balcony once I figure out how to open it. Let's open it. Yeah, you the one doing the tour. <laughs> Let me out of here. Oh, got it. Oh my God. The pool is closed, but Jesus, look at this. And unfortunately, we only have like six and a half hours here because we leave in the morning at 7 30. um well really eight and a, eight eight hours um to go on our next safari so we're gonna enjoy the night mm -hmm. so i think this is supposed to be me alexis edward i'll take it how stinking cute is this of the hotel? Happy birthday to you. Yay. Happy birthday, dear Alexis. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Victoria. I know this was your doing. You're so sweet. 